Good morning, everyone. It is like 5, 5.15 a.m. I'm dead tired. Uh, Trevor was supposed to be here, but he's not answering his phone. So we got some awesome conditions though this morning. We got fog. We got rain coming in about noon to one. And then we got a full moon today. Today is a full moon. I'm a really big believer in moon phases. So I think the fishing is going to be off the charts today. Me and Trevor absolutely slayed it yesterday. I don't really know when you're going to see this video, but me and Trevor literally been out almost every single day. And then after today, this is like our last nice day of really good weather. So I think the fishing is really going to be good today. I think the conditions are just going to be right. Everything's going to be in my favor. So I'm about to load up the car, get ready, and then be on my way. So I will see you guys when I get there. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. All right, so Trevor didn't respond, but he finally texted me back. Something like happened with, like, with his alarms and like time zones or whatever, so he's gonna meet me at the launch. So instead of a solo mission, Trevor's coming back out with me. Before we get today's video underway, I quickly wanna say that today's video is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company who covers you from hunting to fishing. They got salt water, fresh water, and hunting. Everywhere from tarpon, redfish, largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, crappie, musky, deer, waterfowl. They got so much stuff, guys. All their stuff is hand drawn. They're an awesome company. Just go give it a gander. Let me know what you think. I really think that you guys will be impressed. You guys will like their apparel. And if you guys want to get anything on followtheaction.com, be sure to use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order. It will help me out. It helps them out. And I couldn't appreciate all the support from you guys. So big thank you to Follow the Action for sponsoring today's episode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who made it this morning. <laughs> All right, guys, so I think I talked about it last time a pretty good amount, but if I didn't, so I'm using a white chatterbait, three eight ounce white chatterbait, and then I my trailer is an Exxon Lures Pearl Silver Flake. That one? You no, guys, I'm already on. I'm already on. Don't jump, don't jump. Guys, look at this hammer of the Exxon lures. <laughs> nice, dude. Smacking the Exxon. Chill, chill, chill. Look at that. Exxon lures, probably about a pound and a half or two fish and like less than 10 casts. I'll take that any day. Keep that going up. Oh, oh, nice. Trevor's on for the first of the day. Let's see him. That's what guy right there. <laughs> Oh, I missed the hit. All right, so we got four fish. I would say our four fish are probably eight to 10 pounds. All right, guys, these are my two first fish of the day. I'm gonna get a quick weight on them just because we're gonna weigh our fish. We're not gonna keep them in the live all day, but not a bad start, honestly. This is pretty good. This one's a little bit bigger. And we have been out here for honestly 20 minutes and we already have four fish in the live well and I lost one too. So I'm gonna get a quick weight. All right, so the first one is 2.22. So, 2.22 for the first one. Oh, it got broke. 1.74. All right, I'm going to get the, the weight of your two. Remember, 2.05. 2.05, okay. Two on the dot. So, you oh. get 4.05, remember that. 4.05. All right, okay. guys, so we have three fish, or four fish for 8.03. Me and Trevor contributing. Good. All right, guys, I'm going to throw a Senko. This is the X-Zone Senko in the 309 color. First, it came off. Oh. First cast on the Senko. On the Ned. On the Ned. No. Oh, don't jump. Don't jump. No, I think I'm okay. Oh, yeah, Ned, 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 Ned. I don't want to lose it. Thank you. 
All right, get ready, get ready. I'm ready. Get ready. Put it down. Put it in the water. Woo! That's a pig. There you go. That's like a, that's like a four. I'm going to guess high threes, 3.65. Just hit fish. Yeah. Dude, that thing hit right in the bank. Like, that thing was literally like six inches. I'm on again. I'm on again. The net. The net doing work. <laughs> the net doing work. Okay, pull back at it. Trevor. Oh, there goes my net. There goes my net. I don't think I need a net. Okay. I'll get out the way. I want to do it professional style. <laughs> there we go. And the hook popped out. That's so sick. Maybe I'm snagged. Yeah. My bad. Very good. Oh, guys, look at this. Biggin. All right, guys. 3.65 and 2.66. This is my biggest bass of the year so far. All right, guys, so a mid-morning update is 8.30. We have a 12.65 pound bag, so that is not bad at all. The biggest being 3.65. I just caught that one. My next cast, I caught a 2.66, and like the next cast right after that, I literally had one like and like I said it but like I was like reeling it in so I didn't really get a good hook set on it It's just like non-stop action out here kind of like just like shocked right now how early it is and just how well we're doing and I, That was my biggest bass of 2020 I believe I don't think I caught a bigger one Trevor How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good You know yesterday we we're slamming them and then today we get right back out here and we're doing the same thing We're just crushing them getting them on nuts chatterbaits like different things and different presentations so it's always fun, and we got plenty of daylight left, so I'm excited. All right, so Trevor just got hit again. So kind of like what he was saying, <laughs> it's weird, because Trevor's like, I think because it's not like as windy as it was. Okay, so I don't know when you're gonna see this second video from the first bass fishing video, but this is our second time out, like actually getting on a consistent bass bite. And yesterday was super windy, so the chatterbait was working really well. This morning, the chatterbait worked pretty damn good for like the first four fish, but then after that, they just shut off. So then Trevor suggested, like there's not as windy, we should probably throw different stuff. And that's what we did. I threw the Senko, my first cast, I got hit. Trevor's been throwing drop shot. He's been switching up a lot. And then I also like threw the net and I hit three fish on the net like right away. So it's just like, you give them something new and they take it. So I'm gonna shut my mouth. I've, this, I've been talking for so long. I'm just super happy. Glad to be out here with my buddy Trevor as always. He's a little late to the launch today, but he made it out here. This is all that matters. So I'm gonna throw you back on the chest, throw you back on the side angle right here. Here we go. Trevor's on. I don't think he's huge, but it's... There we go. There we go. Oh, dude, that's gonna replace one. That's gonna replace the, the flat two. That's Sweet. thick. All right, so that's Trevor's third? Yes. So this guy hit it right off the bank. Like, we've noticed there's a lot of rock and stuff, and it's early spring, so nice warm shoreline. They're moving up, and they're just stacked on there. Yes. And I think you caught this fish because of your hog hunter. Exactly. <laughs> FTA always brings the good luck. Best gear in the game. 2.53, because it's at 2.51, 2.55, and now it's sitting at a solid 2.53. Okay. Grab it. No way. Dude, if that, if that f talent doesn't come up, I swear to God. Go, go. There we go. <laughs> no, it's getting stuck. Real quick, this has happened to me before with the mint coated talons and I put it in manual mode and then I try and go to crank up and it just will not crank. Is there any other solutions? Cause we're stuck on the lake right now. All right. And okay, so what exactly is the talon doing? Is it just not, uh, is it not having lights on or, or what? It just, it just won't come up. Like it, it keeps going down and then it gets to a certain point and just will not come back up. Like it's like, well, like when I put it in well, manual- happened originally? I put the talons down, the one comes up, the other one has it. This has happened before with me. It happened last year, and I was able to somehow get it cranked up, but now like when I try and put it in manual, I can crank it down, but I cannot crank it up. Two hours later. It won't even budge. Well guys, a great start to the day, and my talon got stuck and literally will not come up. I've been on the phone with Minkota all morning. This is literally insane. I mean, we had such a good morning, we caught so many fish, and now this happened to me last year. It happened once, I was stuck on the water, but I was able to crank it up manually, and now this time it's just like absolutely 
not come up. Coleman called and they literally, I don't know, I just had to get the boat out. They said to get the boat out. I have tried everything and anything and this thing will not come up. So I'm literally gonna have to like saw my talent off. This is literally what we have come down to. We have to saw my talent off. Trying to throw that away. It's gonna take a while. This is so f***ed up in every way. It's just spinning the other way now. Oh, you almost got it. Go reverse one more time. Now go forward. Oh my god. Where the fuck are? Okay, like that. There we go. Hey, dude, these things are like two grand a piece. Alright guys, so the talent is sawed off. We've caught a bunch of fish today. We are gonna go back out. There's no reason not to go back out. I mean, I don't think of the talent fixed anyways, but stuff like this happens with boating all the time. And before you comment and say like, oh, you could have took it up manually. This has happened before where I've actually got it up manually, but the whole thing just like completely seized up. like wouldn't go up. And the only thing I could do is get the boat out and literally just saw the talent off. So we're gonna head back out. Trevor, what do you think about this whole excursion with the talent? Um, I think it's <laughs> pretty messed up. Spent probably a good hour or two fixing this scenario. I mean, Coda's tech support was no help. Um, I'm just hoping <laughs> they help out my boy Tommy. They they hook him up with a new one because it was not user error. Trevor's helped me out the most. He had the giant knife, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're back out here, and I just nailed it. We just sawed off my talon. Look at this. On the egg zone, the swammer, the four inch. Not a bad fish, I'm gonna get a weight on that. Honestly, we might we might be like at the same amount of fish yesterday than we are today already. Yeah, I think so. Yesterday, I feel like they were a teeny bit bigger, but like numbers wise, I think it's the same. Oh, there you go. No, he's super small. Two point three three. There we go. All right, guys, so you just saw me hit the one on the chatterbait. I had one on the net, and I just lost it. Cast it back in there, and then hit it on the net again. But I switched from the watermelon, the egg zone watermelon one, to the egg zone green pumpkin with purple flake, and this got that bite done. So it's like when we switch it up, it's like the bites come. All right, guys, it's probably like, what time is it? 1.17. 1.15. Just hit one more. Smoke the egg zone, the chatterbait. Four inch, not a bad bass. Probably about two and a half pounds. I'm gonna weigh this. The last cast, Trevor nails one. No way, I'm on two. Doubled up. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Me and Trevor just doubled up to literally end the day. Got the storm rolling in. It's actually kind of sick. All right, let's just plop them. One, two, three. <laughs> the thunder rolls. What a freaking day. What an absolute day. I definitely had a better outing than I did last time. I caught so many fish today. I think I caught at least 15 to 20 fish. We probably finished the day with about 20 to 30. I think we might be like a tick over 30. I'm not really sure, but we doubled up there right at the end to pretty much top off the entire day. Broke a $2,000 talon, literally had to saw off my talon. I never thought in a million years. If you told me that this morning that I was gonna be sawing off my talon, would never even, wouldn't even cross my mind. Didn't even think about it, but. Our bag for today, our five bag limit was about 14 pounds. Again, we're pre-fishing these lakes to just kind of get ready. Our tournaments are coming up super soon. I'm now down a talon, but that shouldn't affect us too much, so. Our ticket to success, once again today, was the white chatterbait. 
tips with the X-Zone swim bait, the Pearl Silver Flake. Also, the Ned Zone by X-Zone Lures did really well today. The Ned caught a ton of fish. That was pretty sweet. Like, we switched it up because it wasn't too windy. But everything was pretty much working. I had an awesome day out there. Had so much fun. I literally have bass some on both my thumbs, and it's literally like the first week of April. Both are literally so torn up. My left thumb actually is like already bleeding and stuff. But again, that's what happens when you catch a bunch of fish in a day and yesterday. The bass are back, we are back, and I'm feeling good, and that's gonna do it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's absolute banger of a day, and wild, I guess. Big thank you to follow the action for sponsoring this episode. Be sure to tune in every single week, every Tuesday and Friday at four o'clock p.m. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next episode of McGrath Fishing.